Train Sim World 4, and a rail driver controller. So you need to calibrate it. The settings don't come over from Train Sim World 3. So you click on settings in the top menu, then controls, then advanced controls. You'll notice that it's detected the rail driver, but it knows the rail driver is not calibrated. You'll also notice that most of your trains are missing. Don't worry about that. That's the new DLC loader. This thing needs to be updated to cope with that. It does still work with everything, so it's all good. Anyway, let's calibrate. So we need to go through each of the controls one by one, and I start with putting them all into their neutral or off positions, and then we get into it. So let's start with the reverser, moving that to the full reverse position, and then clicking on accept moving it to the middle position and clicking accept and then moving that to the furthest part of its travel in the forward position and click accept. Now I always bring it back to the neutral position because the controls have a horrible habit of influencing each other as you probably know if you've got one. Anyway we're going to bring the throttle lever now to the full throttle position and accept and we now bring it back to this just where the gate starts but not in the gate so not over here in just at the top of this travel here and say accept now here's a track for the younger players or the people who haven't had one before you don't go here next you go all the way to the end of the travel so it's right into the full dynamic brake position and then accept bring it back to the top of the gate but not into the gate and accept bring it back to the neutral position in the middle of the gate there now we're going to do the train brake now so we'll accept that that's at the bottom position and then we take it up to the gate just before it goes into emergency and press accept and then push it past the gate into emergency and accept again. Bring it back down to its released position. All right, now we're doing the independent brake lever, which is often used for the throttle. You'll notice mine has some window insulating foam stuck in it. So it's used for the regulator on steam trains and the springs have a horrible habit of pulling it back to release. If you, um, don't stop it. So I find this foam is really helpful. Anyway, we're at the bottom of the travel there. So we'll accept that and into the bail off position. We'll accept that. Now into the full application position and accept that and full application bail off. Full application bail off doesn't actually make any sense, Pi Engineering, but that's okay. All right, doing the wiper switch next. So that's on the leftmost position. We will accept that middle position. I've got to jiggle it a bit because mine's worn out and accept that and over to the full right position and accept that back to neutral again. My light switch has nice clicks though. Accept that and accept that and accept that. And that's it. Our rail driver is calibrated. Now you've got to excuse my funny voice. I've got a bit of a cold. Sorry about that. I sound a cross between a emphysema victim and someone going through puberty. It's uh, quite weird, but anyway, um, there you go, rail driver, all calibrated, ready to go with all of the content that you want to play it with. And like I said, don't worry too much about the limited list you see here. It does still work with everything. Alrighty, see you later. If you've got any questions, you should ask for that. If you've got any questions, chuck them in the comments below. And if you find this helpful, subscribe to the channel. See ya.